número tres. Soy, I am, soy Kelly Abel. And I have for you más, more, key words and phrases in español. So, vamanos. Let's go. Maybe you've picked that up from Dora the Explorer. <laughs> All right. Let me say something in español and see if you understand. Hoy, en el restaurante muy elegante, Taco Bell, Jennifer Lopez habla español con Peter. So what does habla español con Peter mean? That's right. Speak Spanish with Peter. Pero... But, pero, Peter, no habla español. Jennifer Lopez habla español con Peter. Pero, no es un problema para él. And él in Spanish, E with an accent. El means him, so para él. Uh, before we had the phrase with her. Do you remember how to say with her? Con ella, e double -A, a Sorry, e double -L -A. Con ella. For her would be para ella. And for him, para él. And then how would you say with him? Con él. That's right. So the, the sentence, Jennifer Lopez habla español con Peter, pero no es un problema para él. ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué means because Peter comprende Español. And probably from English, you can work out comprende means understands. D-E, similar to comprehension. ¿Por qué Peter comprende español? So the sentence, how would you say Peter understands Spanish? Peter comprende español but doesn't speak Spanish. Pero no habla español. So question, how do you say in Spanish, who speaks Spanish? ¿Quién habla español? Answer, Jennifer Lopez habla español. How do you say who understands Spanish? ¿Quién comprende español? Peter comprende español. If you want to say well in Spanish, it's bien. B-I-E-N. So if I say Jennifer Lopez habla bien español, that would mean Jennifer Lopez speaks Spanish well. Habla bien español. How would you say Peter doesn't speak Spanish well? So doesn't speak, no habla, doesn't speak well. No habla bien. So Peter no habla bien español. Pero, pero, but, Pero Peter comprende bien español. What would that mean? Sí. But Peter understands Spanish well. Jennifer Lopez habla bien inglés. Inglés is English. También. Also, también. T-A-M-B-I-E with an accent. N. También means also. So, Jennifer Lopez habla bien inglés también. Muy bien. Very well. Let's review some of the uh, new words we've learned. Uh, well, from before we had speaks. Habla. Doesn't speak. No habla. And then for, as in for him. Para él. Because. Porque understands, comprende, but, pero, well, as in speaks well, habla bien, and then also, también, and then English, ingles, and ingles is spelled I-N-G-L-E with an accent, S. Muy bien. Another key word in Espanol, a question word, where in Spanish is donde, donde, D-O with an accent, N-D-E. All question words, by the way, have accents, donde. So if I ask, 
Um, let me introduce a couple other words. Kome. We've had kome means eats. If you put an n at the end, komen, that means they eat, as in more than one person. So if I say donde komen, where do they eat? Donde komen, Peter e e, pronounced uh, e e. It's actually letter y. E means and. So, donde comen Peter y Jennifer Lopez? And you would answer, Taco Bell. So, I'll say to, to you, Peter y Jennifer Lopez comen in un restaurante muy elegante que se llama, que se llama means that's called Taco Bell. Que se llama. That's three words, K-Q-U-E. And then S E, and then double L A M A. Que se llama? That's called. Que se llama? That's called Taco Bell. So I'll say it again. Peter y Jennifer Lopez comen en un restaurante muy elegante que se llama Taco Bell. Jennifer Lopez come con Peter. Jennifer Lopez come con él. Do you remember con él? With him and with her, how would you say that? Con ella. All right. So, question: Quién habla español con Peter? Sí, si, Jennifer Lopez habla español con Peter. Jennifer Lopez habla español con Peter, or you could say, habla con él en español. So she speaks con él en español. Now, in Spanish, habla means speaks. It could be he speaks or she speaks. If it's not clear, you can say ella habla, she speaks, or él habla, he speaks. But often, when it is clear, you can just drop the subject altogether and just say habla. So, Jennifer Lopez habla español con Peter, habla con él en español. She speaks with him in Spanish. Now, do you remember how to say where in Spanish? Donde. You might know the expression, donde está el baño? Where is the bathroom? Muy importante. Very important first phrase in any language. Bueno, so donde. Donde is where. So I might, I might ask you, in fact, I will ask you, donde es estudiante Peter? Sí. PJC. Peter es estudiante en PJC. Now, another question. Jennifer Lopez es estudiante también en PJC? También, mean also? No, Jennifer Lopez no es estudiante también en PJC. ¿Dónde es estudiante Jennifer Lopez? So, what would that mean? ¿Dónde es estudiante? Where is she, a student, Jennifer Lopez? You answer. Ella, she, ella no es estudiante. Ella es actriz. You can probably hear that from English, actor. Ella no es estudiante, es actriz. She is, es. Ella es. Or you can simply say es actriz. So now, if you want to say from where, like where is she from, the expression is de donde es. So we already know donde is where, donde es, where is. So you add that little word de in the front, de means from, it can also mean of, but in this case, de donde es Jennifer Lopez. Jennifer Lopez es de Nueva York. So es de, she is from Nueva York, New York. Pero, but, su familia, familia, and if you know el restaurante, la familia, you know that means family. So su familia, her family. And you probably know the expression, mi casa es su casa. My house is your house. Su can be your or hers or his, depending on the context. So in this case, pero su familia, her family. And if you want to say comes from, comes from in Spanish is viene de. Viene de. I'll spell that for you. It's V as in Victor, 
I E N E, and then D E. Now, a little note about the V in Spanish. In in Castellano, Castellano is Spanish from the Castilian Peninsula, from Spain, where it originated. In Castellano, in, in Spanish, there there really is no difference between the V as in Victor and B as in boy. So when I say the word V-I-E-N-E, -E, v, it's not really V-N-E, it's B-N-E, B-N-E, but very, very light. It's not like boy, but B-N-E, B-N-E, lots of air. B-N-E de Puerto Rico. So, um, su familia, so we're talking about the family of Jennifer Lopez, her family, B-N-E de Puerto Rico. Now, here in Texas, you probably will hear viene, and that's really just the infiltration of English and Spanish because that V, v as in Victor, sound does. So you'll hear, hear a lot of Spanish speakers around this area that will actually say V, but it may come back to you as a viene, and it's hard to hear if you don't recognize that. So back to S de is from, so Jennifer Lopez, S de Nueva York. Pero su familia viene de Puerto Rico. But her family comes from Puerto Rico. So how would you say, where is the family of Jennifer Lopez from? And that's kind of a... Or in Spanish, it would actually be, from where is the family of Jennifer Lopez? So de donde es, de donde es la familia de Jennifer Lopez? And the answer would be, De Puerto Rico. Sí. So, ¿de dónde es la familia de Jennifer Lopez? De Puerto Rico. And another very common expression you can hear a lot. Por eso. Por eso. Two words. P-O-R. And then E-S-O. Por. Another word for for. Por eso. For that. Meaning for that reason. Por eso. Jennifer Lopez comprende bien y habla bien español. So what does that mean? Por eso, Jennifer Lopez comprende bien y habla bien español. So for that reason, Jennifer Lopez understands well and speaks well Spanish. Muy bien. All right, a final review. We've learned um, several new words there. How would you say where in Spanish? Donde. Do you remember how to say eats? Come. And then do you remember if you want to... Say, they eat, you add an N to the end, comen, they eat. So, Peter E. Jennifer Lopez, comen. And then, and in Spanish, it's the letter Y, pronounced E. Him, or he, el, el with an E. And then, she or her, ella. So, we've had para ella, for her, or con ella, with her. Uh, from in Spanish is de, and then that very common expression, where is she from? Where is he from? De donde es? And then if I say from New York, de Nueva York. And then her family is su familia, and then comes from, viene de, and then, um, you want to say, where is Jennifer Lopez's family from? In Spanish, there's no apostrophe S, like Jennifer's family. You would say, the family of Jennifer Lopez. And the family is la familia. So, la familia de Jennifer Lopez. Muy bien. And how you say understand? Comprende. Speaks. Habla. Eats. Come. And then make that plural. They eat. Comen. So if comprende is he or she understands, how would you say they understand? She at an end. Comprenden. They understand. And speaks. Habla. They speak. Hablan. And then the last phrase for that reason. Por eso. Por eso. Muy bien. Hasta. El próximo. See you next time.